The British establishment are coming after Tommy Robinson once again. Now, they've been very proactive from the legal system to the policing. They've been finding excuses left, right and centre to go after him uh, from eating breakfast in, in the morning in London to taking his kid to watch the football in South London, which is barely London, Crystal Palace. But having said that, uh, Tommy has done a new video uh, for us uh, explaining what is happening now because uh, he's going to have to go back potentially to jail. And he's literally done nothing wrong. Let's go and watch this. Hello, how are we all? Uh, quick update from me. I'm in a hotel, story of my life. I'm with my son, which is good. And a uh, quick one for me. I have to hand myself in on the 19th of this month. Insanity, okay? So I know I've been poking the bear with the Metropolitan Police Force. They're humiliated, they're embarrassed because their shit's about to hit the fan for them, I think, yeah? With your help, okay? So, but they've dragged back through and I am going and I have to hand myself in for an offence, an alleged offence of breaching an order to do with a journalist that I'm not allowed to name. That breach is a year ago or something like that. It's like, what, and you're talking to me now? What, what's that? They have gone and found something that they can get me in the police station for. So I have to go with my lawyers on the 19th over this offence. The crazy thing is, breaching out orders five years. So they get these shitty orders through a judge, no jury, okay? And then they get you on a breach if they can, and they want to lock you up. That's one thing, okay? I'm going to fight that as best I can. The other thing, I'm on trial 22nd and 23rd of April. Why is this important? Why is it important I have a King's Council? I'll tell you why it's important I have a King's Council. I was in jail recently. I was, I was held for two days, and I went to court, and the judge actually said... I wasn't going to be letting you out today. Do you know why I let me out? Because you got me a King's Council. The best King's Council who got me released. I've already had a success with him. Now, I'm going into a gunfight against the entire might of the British establishment. I can't go in there with a knife. Yeah? I need to go into a gunfight with a gun. And I, I'm sorry to keep doing this, but that cost is astronomical. Okay, I think the first day is 10,000 plus fat. Second day is 5,000 plus fat, something like that, without the solicitor's fees. But I'm just filling you in, yeah? I want to go in there as best equipped, because if I win this case, which we believe, and my legal team, after sitting with them, I've been to have continuous meetings. My life is taken up with legals. But I've had continuous meetings, and they believe that we have strong grounds on multiple different angles of fighting this, yeah? Not what they've done is not right, okay? You know that, I know that. I know I didn't breach their border. They've all got rid of their body cam footage. I'm up against it, okay? The result, if I lose, three months jail. Yeah? That's the result if I lose. I don't want to go to jail, if I'm honest, yeah? I think for our cause, it may benefit. I'm not in the position to want to do that. Not with my kit, not where I'm at. So, unfortunately, I'm asking for your help, yeah? Help me fund the best legal defence. Help me win this case. Help me stick the biggest two fingers up at them because I've filmed all of it for my documentary. It's a fabulous film that is coming, yeah? A fabulous work. I, I believe all of our work's important. You, I am, now have the best editor, okay? My, be, my cameraman stroke editor is the best I've ever had, yeah? He's professional. We are working. We, we interviewed Andrew Bridgen yesterday. We've got some great characters and commentators telling the story of Britain, the totalitarian state. This was, oh, I'm going off on one, I can go on off, off on one for hours, but this was literally an appeal from me to you. Please, can you help me fund this defence team? The thing is, they need paying before, because we're continually meeting with them. The work goes in before. Even if this gets kicked out, the work's been done. Yeah? They're working to look at the legal discussion, legal arguments on five different fronts of fighting this, this bullshit order. Yeah? And the, saying that I breached it when I didn't. Okay? And, and it was unlawful for me to give me it. But thank you in advance. I'm sorry to continue asking for your support. I wouldn't even be... Do you know what? I, I confidently fight. And I enjoy fighting, right? Because fighting is what we... All I know, okay? All I know is to go walking in and fight them, yeah? And I wouldn't be in a position to do that without you, or I'd be in a less equipped position to do that. So thank you in advance, yeah? He's right. I'm the same. We can't do anything else but fight. I was born a fighter anyway. A um, couple of issues. Well, firstly, the documentary that Tommy's done. Oh, yes, Maya Tusi has also featured in it, so in, this, in his latest work, uh, so it's upcoming. And A uh, um, couple of things. I love how solicitors' fees aside, the court fees has VAT on it. 
What sort of what sort of value? Well, like, you can, you got VAT on court fees. It's so weird. This is just HMRC in this country, the Treasury becoming greedy, just taking tax from anywhere, any route that they can. Uh, the most important point to mention is uh, 19th of April. They're going after it, right? They say you have to come in. Do you know why? Partly for some historic case breach. It's not even a criminality whether it's just a breach, allegedly. Because four days later is 23rd of April, St. George's Day. They don't want Tommy to be around. Of course, they don't want him to be around. That's why they're doing this.